Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we would talk about the importance of having a bad weather beater bike. What is a bad weather beater bike, you may ask? Well, it's essentially a bike that you just don't care about. That is the first reason why you want a bad weather beater bike. The other day I was going to work and I slid out. Um, it wasn't due to the ice. Actually, let's go back to that day and I will tell you exactly what the problem was. Ooh, it crashed. I don't know if you guys could see all that shit around, but it looks like somebody hit that light. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know what I hit, but it was slick as hell. I think I hit one of these pieces right here. Like this little plastic piece. And I think I just washed right out. It's like a piece of a car bumper. Just goes to show you, you gotta watch out, man. Uh, I definitely uh, I hit that piece of plastic and plastic and snow is like a sled. You know what I'm saying? Not a good thing, but my knee is hurting. Okay, see, there are a lot of times and a lot of situations during bad weather, like snowy, icy weather, there's a lot of times when you will crash and it's not due to negligence, it's not due to inexperience. There's a lot of circumstances in the snow and ice that are going to happen that are beyond your control. I am very good at riding during the winter time. I've been doing it for three years here in Denver, okay? I know how to handle myself on snow and ice, but there are situations that are going to happen that are beyond your control, and you're going to inevitably crash your bike. The only question you have to ask yourself is, do I wanna crash a nice bike or do I wanna crash a crappy bike? Now, I love riding my Brompton and I don't wanna put it up for the winter time. Okay, I wanna ride it during the winter time because I can't go that long without riding my Brompton, right? So I'm going to pull it out and I'm gonna ride it. Here in Denver, there are a lot of sunshiny, dry days, even during the winter time. There's tons of them, okay? But there are them times sporadically here and there when it snows and the weather gets really bad. Those are the days I want my bad weather beater bike out. But all the other nice, halfway decent winter days, I'm riding my Brompton. Guys, the next reason why you may want a bad weather beater bike is because the roads are pretty harsh when it snows. Yeah guys, it's been snowing here for the last couple of days. The whole city, as you can see, is pretty blanketed. <sighs> and for the last couple of days, the Brompton has actually got a break. I've been riding the Dayhan. Um, not that it's good in the snow, it's really not. The slick tires, <laughs> They definitely uh, are very slippery. As you can see, I could really slip very easily on this particular bike. 
but it just goes to show that any bike any bike can ride in the snow you just got to be uber careful on how you turn how you stop but it's the same thing with being in a car you have to watch how you stop watch how you turn otherwise you're going to slide The main thing you got to watch when you're on a bicycle is those packed down areas of snow because they are basically sheets of ice. But having a bike like this that you can ride around, a bike that uh, you don't care whether it gets corroded by salt or brine on the road, you don't care if you crash it. <laughs> if you crash it, you just kind of bend it back out and continue on riding. A bike like this is very beneficial and that's why having a beater bike especially a bad weather beater bike like this one it's preferable instead of you know destroying your nice expensive Bromden. Here in Denver like many other cities they throw down salt, they throw down brine, they throw down other chemicals that I don't even know about on the roads and those chemicals are generally used to melt the ice. Well when you're riding in this melted snow what happens is all that water, that liquid with that brine, with that salt, with those other chemicals flings up all over your bicycle. You guys have ridden your bicycle in the rain, right? You know what it looks like after it dries. It looks completely dirty. It doesn't look dirty when it's wet, but when it dries, it looks completely dirty. And that's because all that road dirt just got slung up all over your bicycle. Well, the same thing happens when you're riding your bicycle in the snow. I mean, all of that stuff gets slung up all over your bicycle, but instead of just being dirt, it's also those chemicals, the brine, the salt, all of that stuff. And a lot of that stuff and a lot of those chemicals are corrosive and it's not good for it to sit on your bicycle for any period of time. But see, a lot of people don't like having to clean their bicycle every day. I don't. I don't want to have to clean my Brompton every single day, especially after it's been ridden in the snow. When it's ridden in the snow, it usually takes me a good long time to clean out all the different little crevices where all this snow, salt, ice, brine, all that stuff just accumulates in some of the tightest and hardest areas to get to. So it takes a while to clean it up. And if you have to do that every day, a lot of people are just gonna say, screw it, um, I'll clean it up when the weather gets better and I can wash off my bike. Well, the problem with that is you don't want those corrosive chemicals sitting on your bicycle for any period of time. So that's why I like having a bad weather beater bike because I don't care if those corrosive chemicals sit on my bad weather beater bike for a week before I can clean them off. It's a bike I don't really care about. It's a bike that didn't cost a lot of money. I'm not going to be all upset and sad if it, you know, discolors the finish on the bicycle from that chemical sitting on it for a week and a half. Now, in all honesty, guys, I want to get a beater bike that's better quality than this one. This bike is a 23-year-old bike. I got it a while back ago. I got it before I got my Bromptons, and I got it specifically to use it in place of a Brompton because I thought the Bromptons were too expensive at the time. But when I got this bike, it was, I just didn't like it. It was too wobbly. The, the, the frame flexed a lot. Um, the brakes were crap. Um, pretty much everything about this bike was just junk. Of course, folding bikes from that era, you know, the early 90s, just weren't very good to begin with. So folding bikes uh, have come a long way in the last 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. They've come a long, long way. So even if you buy a turn, or you buy some other folding bike, it's probably gonna be a, a lot better quality than these old Dayhans were. But right now, I don't have anything else, and this bike's just gonna to have to serve as my bad weather beater bike for now. So all in all, guys, uh, yeah, getting through the winter, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I was kind of worried about that when I got to Brompton. I'm like, how is this thing gonna handle in the really, really bad Denver weather? So I was kind of concerned. But when I started using this bike, I started realizing that maybe that'd be the better option. conclusion for you people out there that ride all year round like I do because I don't own a car and I love riding my bicycle and I want to ride it all year round for those days when it is really snowy slushy icy 
having a bad weather beater bike is the way to go. It is a joy to know when you're riding your bad weather beater bike that you can enjoy the ride without having to worry about, oh my God, this ice and snow and salt and brine and everything's getting all over my bicycle. I gotta clean this up as soon as I get home all the stress and worry about wrecking it, all the stress and worry about the roads. A bad weather beater bike just takes all of that off your mind. You're just like, you know what? I can sit and enjoy my ride in the snow and not have to worry. And that is the best reason why it is nice to have a bad weather beater bike. So anyway, guys, I gotta get to work. I got a lot of things I gotta do on the computer before I go to bed. So if you guys like the video, slap a like on it and I will talk with you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.